Gentlemen, I present to you the first proposal for our residential block designed by Mr. Wigan of Ironside and Malone. Good morning, gentlemen. This is a 12-storey block combining classical Neo-Georgian features with all the advantages of modern design. The tenants arrive in the entrance hall here, uh, carried along the corridor on a conveyor belt in extreme comfort past murals depicting Mediterranean scenes towards the rotating knives. The last 20 feet of the corridor is heavily soundproofed. The blood pours into these chutes and the mangled flesh slurps into these... Excuse me, hmm? did you say knives? Rotating knives, yes. Are you proposing to slaughter our tenants? Does that not fit in with your plans? No, it does not. We wanted a simple block of flats. Oh, oh, I, I see. I uh, hadn't correctly defined your attitude towards your tenants. You see, I mainly design slaughterhouses. Yes, pity. Mind you, this one's a real beaut. I mean, none of your blood caked on walls or flesh flying out windows inconveniencing passers-by with this one. I mean, my life has been building up to this. Yes, and well done. But we did want a block of flats. Well, may I ask you to reconsider? I mean, you wouldn't regret it. Think of the tourist trade. No, no. It's just that we wanted a block of flats, not an abattoir. Yes. Well, of course. That's just the sort of... Blinkered, Philistine, pig ignorance, I've come to expect from you non-creative garbage. You sit there on your loathsome spotty behind, squeezing blackheads, not giving a tinker's cuss about the struggling artist. You excrement! You lousy, hypocritical, whining toadies with your lousy colour TV sets and your Tony Jacklin golf clubs! And your bleeding Masonic handshakes? You wouldn't let me join, would you, you black balling bastards? Well, I wouldn't become a Mason now if you got down your little lousy, stinking, perilant knees and begged me! Well, we're sorry you feel like that, but we, uh, did want a block of flats. Nice though the abattoir is. Oh, pff, the abattoir, that's not important. But if one of you could put in a word for me, I'd love to be a Freemason. Freemason reopens doors. I mean, I was. I was a bit on edge just now, but if I was a mason, I'd just sit in the back and I wouldn't get in anyone's way. Thank you. I've got a second-hand apron. Thank you. I almost got in the Hendon. Thank you. 